I'm going to take a shot here of Yentl sitting just there because I think this machine is great. I'm going to work with a vertical format and upright. So the top of the frame is going to be that wheel there. I'm not going to see the window and the edge of the frame probably will be about here and the bottom of the frame will be the, the steel at the bottom here. Now, I'm, in order to get a really nice look to the picture, the camera's over there. So um, to get that the right look for the light, I'm going to work with the light at 90 degrees to the camera. And we're going to look into the unlit side of Yentl's face. Okay, now not only that, um, I'm going to put this gel, the CTO, color temperature orange, on the flash and I'm going to cool down the background. So the background's got a sort of cool feel. We'll warm up the shot slightly, give that little bit of sunlight feel coming in and it'll just give it a nice drama, a nice energy. Now, of course, the picture can switch to black and white easily, but if we've got color, let's try and make it, make something of it. I think that makes a difference. So I've got this here. This is a, I think it was called a speed strap. Back in the day, I bought these things. I don't know whether they still exist, but it's basically a bit of rubberized Velcro. Um, and it just flips around there. And it allows me to attach the gels to the flash. Now you can use rubber bands. You can attach them any way you want, but that CTO there is gonna make a nice difference to the picture. So I'm gonna pop this in over here. Let's see if I can get that into there somewhere. Um, now, when I'm setting up a flash, of course, it's okay to make some guesstimations of where it needs to be, but ultimately, well, let me just check it's on. Let's have a little look, quick spot check. Yep, yeah, that's it, let's go in. Um, yeah, it helps to switch the flash on, of course. But um, what I've got here, now that's looking good. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that's going to be about the right angle. Might be a bit steep, actually, because Yentl's going to be sitting down. So let me bring this down a little bit, like that. Okay, so that's on, that's lit there. Um, we need to set the exposure of the background. We need to set the framing of the camera. We need to uh, switch the flash on, test the, uh, the exposure for flash, adjust that to taste. Then we need to maybe add a bit of smoke or ambience, and then we need to direct the action. So those, that's the sort of sequence that we need to do. Let's make it happen. Yenta, would you like to come in? Thank you, oh, that's gonna look good. Um, if you just take a seat there, see where that little sort of patch of, patch of dirt is, just, <laughs> thank you. Um, what I need you to do first of all though, just check, can you see through the, I mean, tell, do I need to pan it or? Okay, okay, so that's, that's your left, camera right. <laughs> A stage right, camera let, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, um, so that's now set. So if we come over to the camera, let's switch this on. Let's lift this up a little bit so you can see it. Um, now, uh, I want to make the background blue. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into uh, my white balance and switch it through to Kelvin. Okay, well, it's quite blue because it's the last time it was set. But let me show you how to work it through. So we go into white balance here, um, which is here, into Kelvin. If you carry on clicking through, then we can change the color, do you see, from warm tone to cool tone. Now, that's too cold there, and I'm just going to drop it down to about... 3,400 something like that. 3,400 Kelvin should be fine. Um, I'm leaving the, the, the matrix in the center. That should be okay, good. Now, so we've got that sorted, that's the color. What about exposure? Let's switch off the, let's make sure I've got the preview exposure and manual mode switched on. Um, so that's what it's like off, that's what it's like on at the moment. It's adjusting the white balance, so it's previewing the white balance, and it's great, but it's too bright, isn't it? So what are we going to do? Let's have a little look at our settings. We've got 100 ISO um, and 125th F22. So let's go to four maybe. Drop it down. Maybe you can go even lower to about there. Something like that. So I can still see some detail in the background, um, but I've got the opportunity now to make the picture a little bit more punchy by adding the light. Now, adding the flash. So let's switch on the tra trigger. Let's see what we've got here. So we should be on, uh, I believe we're on B. That's on full power at the moment. Well, it's going to be way too much, but let's just have a little look at it. Now, 
Okay, so that was quite a lot of light. So all we need to do now is drop that light level down. But just in order to see how much there is, look, you can see even that top there uh, is burnt out. So we know we've got to take the light down probably three or four stops. So um, what I'm going to do is just drive the dial down to maybe 16th, something like that. Okay, so that's four stops. And let's just give that a little look. Ooh, that's just a little bit too dark now. So um, let's make it, drop it up to about eight and move the focus position to where we need it to be. Bear in mind that when you add flat, uh, add smoke, sometimes it lifts the picture. So let's just take a little look. Let's have a look at the highlights and oops, highlights and details there, perfect, aren't they? The shadows are there. The shadows are nice and blue. Can you see those sort of blues in the hair? Um, that's all looking really good. Um, and I'm really happy with that. Um, let's pop a bit of smoke in um, and let's take it from there. So, gonna put some smoke in. I think over here. Start here. That smells good. Right, let's have a look at this. We've got a bit of smoke. Oh, it's looking great. Can you be looking down to the floor for me? Just down to that hand there, lovely. And, oh, oh, that's great. I think I might just put a little bit more, a little bit more flash in, just a third of a stop. So, or a little, perhaps even a bit more, two thirds. Let's go up, cut the clips. There we go. Ah, love it. Now, what am I looking at? That top area there, I don't need. So I'm gonna just tweak my composition slightly. Um, just tight, that's it. I can't tighten it because I haven't got a zoom, but I think that's perfect there. Oh, that's nice. And just have a little look. Excellent. Thank you very much. hold of both of those chains just bring, bring your hand a little higher on that chain and bring them together and then just bring that diagonal bring that weight back onto there like that there perfect and now just relax a second want, yeah bring your hair back on this side okay as much as you can just flick it back great let's give that a go uh, so I'm gonna just check the look um, and if that all works well I'm gonna put the smoke in oh that's nice you're not looking to camera though you're looking out that way for me thank you yeah, that's gonna work fine. Right, I shall pop the smoke in and then let's see what happens. Yeah, great, just relax a second. When we go for it, I want as much lean as you feel comfortable with, okay? It's not too far up, it's only it's just less than a meter, I'd say. So you should be all right, but I'm gonna pop a bit of smoke in now. Hopefully it will pick up some sunlight in the back here. Uh, pop a little bit in here. There's a nice little bit of sunlight happening down there. What happens if you put all the weight on your right foot and bring your left foot off? Yeah, 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 that's great. Love it. And just curl, your, bring your left knee higher. Yeah, 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 love it, fantastic. Now looking straight towards the flash for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. That looks fantastic. Thank you very much. Hop on down and uh, come and have a look. So what I did here was I used the exactly the same setup the same white balance and the same gel, a CTO gel on the flash and the same scatter gel as I had in the last shot. And once you've got a formula that's working for you, just stick with it. Just do two or three different pictures. When you put them all together in an album or a collection of pictures, they've got the same style and the same feel. Really, really nice shots. Mm -hmm. 